People are afraid of fire because of what it's done. But that really shouldn't be what we're thinking about. We should be thinking about renewal. I have a little story in which I talk about how Mother Earth is Tabop and water is Paya and how Mother Earth and, and water married and they had a mischievous child named Coos. Coos is fire. And as Coos grew, he liked to play. And he would go out and play and, and wherever he went, he left a trail of fire. Paya would go behind Coos, sprinkling water on him and then Mother Earth would come along and plant flowers and cultural plants. That little story is still working its magic today. The unfortunate part is that we as people, we forget to see that. We're in Mariposa along Mariposa Creek. We've been burning all of this for the last four or five years. The fire that we put here is called cultural burning. Cultural burning is to enhance and support and rejuvenate the cultural resources for the traditional cultural practices. It's a philosophical concept of how to prepare the land, how to ensure that the land has this regrowth. And what you've done when you're finished is to help make the whole landscape wildfire defensible. So if you think about the practice of controlled fire, which is exactly how the indigenous people of the U.S. West utilized flames before, the way it works is that you fight fire with fire. And how does that work? You sort of clear away various kinds of structures, tree, brush, grass, on an annual enough basis that you manage the capacity of fire to do the work that you wish it to do. A uh, part of the dilemma though, of course, is when the Spanish invaded California in the 18th century, they hated fire. Yeah. And so they immediately started to squash the use of fire by indigenous people. So we're now looking at a, more than a 200 year, almost 250, 250 years of fire suppression, which has had this cyclical effect upon Western fire, wildfires in the United States uh, since that point. Wildfires have always been a concern. They were even concerned when the Indian lived on the land. That's one of the main reasons that we had to burn in our village. Yeah, they weren't what we call mega fires back then. Now we have mega fires. And it's, it's an escalation from the time that the Euro-American arrived here. Europeans, once they arrived in the New World, didn't just want to convert forcibly, violently, indigenous people to their religions, let alone try to get rid of them. But one of the things they tried to combat is to suppress fires as much as they could because they understood that fire was a key to indigenous civilizations. And so if you wanted to overtake those folks, if you were Spanish, Mexican, or American, then that was one of the things you took away from them. In addition to violent, attacks upon indigenous communities. One of the things those first white settlers were doing was trying to disrupt indigenous fire practices, either by killing people or moving them off the land so that they could use their practices uh, to ensure the resources that they wanted. I mean, it's a very violent disruption to be sure on so many levels. What the government did to the native people was they put suppression onto fires from 1850. Not only was it suppression, but oppression for our culture. Because if we can't harvest, if we don't have the materials that we need for our baskets and our, our other cultural items and our foods and our medicines, 
then our culture is not really much of a culture. California is encouraging the use of fire to fight fire. New law is giving more control and less liability risk to private landowners when managing prescribed burns on their property. I give Ron Good huge credit uh, for articulating the degree to which this is essential, both internal to his community, of course, but also more practically for the rest of us. That's part of the reason why I have hope that we can get at this at a scale that actually might make sense. When we burn and we clear the land, you see how beautiful the flowers are, the land is just you know, all the coats and colors, gorgeous. So to be able to get out here on the land and put a little fire down means a lot, it makes a lot of difference.